Hi everyone, welcome to Advantech Live Seminar. This is the Vincent Zhuang from the Industrial IoT Center of the Advantech. I believe some of you may also join our live seminar last month. Uh, we invite our uh, special guest is uh, Mr. Chenny Ho. We're talking about the topic is uh, how the enterprise responds the crisis of the COVID-19. So during the, the topic we talked last time, we understand that world has changed because of the COVID-19. And uh, many things are, have the big difference. For example, like the global supply chain, market needs, working style, and even our life are all changed in the COVID-19 area. So to adapt the change, I believe people, we also need to change our mindset. At the meantime, like the leadership also need to shift from the transitional to transformational leadership. In the meantime, we see the lots of new demand from the market and also see the strong driving power for, for a digital transformation. So today we get some good news from the worldwide. So we see the pandemic become the much slowdown and more and more country, they relax the coronavirus restriction and come back to the normal work and the life. So today we would like to talk about the world after the COVID-19. Why is the advantage perspective and also about the COVID-19 and the future outlook. And in the meantime, we would like to share lots of COVID-19 applications and the local case during the COVID-19, what we did in the past three months. We invite our local head from the Euro, from the ASEAN regions to share about their story. Okay. And uh, first, I would like to invite uh, one special guest to our live show is uh, Ms. Linda Tsai. She is our Industrial IoT Center President. Let's welcome Linda. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, this is my pleasure to be here. Okay, thank you, Linda. So, uh, I think, Linda, like mm. what we mentioned about, we got some good news. We see more and more countries are returning to the work. So, what do you think that, what is the perspective for the market with the COVID-19 effect? Okay. Uh, Vincent, you know, COVID-19 is just that a stress test for all the countries. It's not just only that uh, slowing down the economy, it's also change everyone's daily life. And it's very important is that during the COVID-19, it changed the way we work mm -hmm. and our social life because of social distance and all the lockdown policy in different countries. So. I would like to ask you that mm. I know that you're generally flying all around the world for mm -hmm. business, working very hard. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past three months, you are locked down in this island. You are not able to go to visit customers mm -hmm. in person. So how did you still keep the business continue? I think that using the email, phone call, video mm. call, even lots of uh, the video, uh, uh, video meeting software. Right. So you see online and offline communication with customer and also colleagues become very mm -hmm. usual for us. Mm -hmm. And also digital optimization of using AR, VR, digital twin and AI to make sure that the work still can go on. Mm -hmm. We have a less impact on COVID-19 and lockdown policy is very important. So I want to ask you one more question. <laughs> yes. So what are the industries you think the impact the most caused by COVID-19? I think all the industry was be impact because of COVID-19. Yeah, indeed. Almost all the industry, including the travel mm -hmm. industry, retail and medical, no matter, not even mentioned to all the production line. But the important thing is that it's the past three months uh, for the Ventec, uh, because the investment and the business we were uh, in the past years till now, so actually, in some of the, I would say not good way, but in some of the benefit from the Ventec is that, especially on the smart manufacturing in medical. And I want to share about the smart manufacturing because the lockdown policy, the production line only can require maybe 40%, 50% of the workforce to the production. And so many new technology, automated application was, I would say rapidly implemented in the field, that AGV and that robot. And those 
can help our business owner to deal mm. with the period we have with less people. So mm. that's the situation we have now. Mm -hmm. But for the post COVID-19 pandemic, and I believe that there are some of the new technology will help us to accelerate the digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And those technologies are not new. Actually, we heard about them in the past years, the IoT, mm -hmm. AI, and 5G. Mm -hmm. But the implementation time frame generally takes years mm -hmm. to get those due transformation to be done mm -hmm. like on the field side or on the customer facility. Mm -hmm. But because of COVID-19, companies are start to think we need to be well prepared mm -hmm. for everything. For everything. For everything. <laughs> need to be well prepared for everything. Yes. So that's why mm -hmm. I believe it will accelerate mm -hmm. digital transformation after COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. And this is crucial that for a lot of factor, sector will be infected. Mm -hmm. But what are the role for Adventa in this? For IoT, mm -hmm. Adventa has been providing a lot of small eye sensing device to collect the data for the remote control mm -hmm. monitoring and also for pretty maintenance. Mm -hmm. And the second one for AI, AI is crucial that to improve the safety in transportation, to improve mm -hmm. efficiency, quality in the production line. And AI for Adventa that we provide a comprehensive platform and also a lot of eco partnership mm -hmm. to work together to have win win. I'm mm -hmm. going to share that later in the future, in mm -hmm. the later slide. But last one for 5G. People think about 5G, think about cellular phone. Mm -hmm. Of course, cellular phone is very good. Mm -hmm. But when we are thinking about 5G, we are thinking about industry IoT 5G mm -hmm. because industry IoT 5G provide reliable, mm -hmm. low latency, and connect to millions of devices. Mm -hmm. Why that's important after COVID 19? Mm -hmm. The reason is that those are really the foundation for the infrastructure, and we need to make sure they are reliable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my view, and to share about that why post the COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. it will definitely accelerate mm -hmm. the transformation, digital transformation in industrial IoT application. Yeah. Okay, I see. So Linda, you also agree about the trend of the mm. digital transformation? Right? For sure. Okay, so with your information, now uh, what the potential opportunity can be expected in our industry, and uh, what is the role for Advantech? Okay, um, in the following few mm. minutes, I want to share with you some of the industry or technology mm -hmm. we think that will really have a very good, imp very important impact after COVID nineteen. Also, what's Advantech role? for those technology and mm -hmm. also for the industry. First one I want to share with AI, and this is not a new term for everyone. That everyone here mm -hmm. that everywhere about the AI. But it's not about AI technology itself. It's more about the how can we really implement the AI in IoT application. Because this is not just one main show. It's not just one company can do everything. This is special, I would say special unique and really mm -hmm. require that eco partnership. Eco partnership is that there will be everyone play different role. Like the one you see here, Adventa is co-creating the partnership to create the win-win in the future. Adventa provide the comprehensive from the end devices of the sensing, camera data acquisition module from the data, and then we provide the edge AI computer. We actually collaborate with tier one AI accelerator company like Intel, NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. and, but most importantly is the last mile industrial solution provider. Mm -hmm. Why they are important? Because they are the industrial solution provider provide the application level for the AI used in IoT, that facial recognition, uh, vehicle detection, mm -hmm. that for the traffic management, mm -hmm. and also the AI vision to improve the quality and safety. Mm. So last but not the least, Adventa also provide what we call AI framework services at the cloud. That's WisePass AFS. So with all the partnership we have with the ecosystem tier one technology vendor and our offering, mm -hmm. I think is truly co-creation for AI in IoT mm -hmm. application. But next one I want to share with you is the smart manufacturing. You know, one of the big focus market for Adventa is manufacturing. There are so many production lines in the world, 
In the past year, most of the factory are located in the country where they have lower labor cost. Maybe from now to the future still the same, but the company are start to think whether I should, like business as usual, put the production line over there, or should I decentralize our production line to different countries, or should I relocate and move back our manufacturing to where the market is. No matter which direction we go or the, 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 the customer choose for, I think one thing for sure is that after COVID-19 pandemic, people are realized that how can we leverage technology to provide efficiency in the production line? Of course, for the current like, labor or the employee we have, we will help them to be more on the intelligent application. But on those that routine job, two things I want to share with you is AGV and robot. And AGV actually in the past two and three months that there are so many increasing demand from all around the world. That's also one of the reasons that the Ventec business is still quite okay, quite good in the first half. So AGV can help us because the labor and also the, the, the human resource will have to reduce in the field. But the second one I want to share with you is the Vision Guide robot. Again, this is not a new thing. So everything I'm talking about is that the acceleration of digital transformation after COVID-19 pandemic. So Vision Guide robot is also one of them that we with have the built-in camera as a sensor. So collect the data, use AI to improve the safety and efficiency. And there are much more. So in addition to the mm -hmm. manufacturing that's in-house, also that the look at what is outside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's what we call infrastructure. That's mm -hmm. what we call energy and environmental. And this is extremely crucial. It's not because we're going to save money and save mm -hmm. some of people. It's also for the growth, the, the earth we have mm -hmm. to make it sustainable. And there are many digital transformation implementa implementation for E and E, but one of the strategic direction is access management. Mm -hmm. Because of the field, there are so many assets, that's code devices, that's used different way, coded devices. Generally, no one is there, right? Uh, it's very hard to send someone there. So we need to have the smart access management mm -hmm. capability mm -hmm. to get the data and remote and intelligently. So how to do that, this is not an easy job because there are so many different type of devices in the field. And second, how can I have a reliable data from asset and also trustable inter uh, eye connectivity communication for the remote usage? So for the smart ASS management, Adventech provide device call. We call it wise pass and pass. Basically, this is the device call management. It's a smart access management tool mm -hmm. and to allow the business owner or the user to easily collect the data, of course, from different devices, not just one kind of device, to collect the data, remote mm -hmm. management, and then to improve our business decision and increase our efficiency. So last but not the least, even though um, COVID-19 coronavirus, they have a lot of impact also to our social life, mm -hmm. to all the industry, also slowing down our economy. But I look at the other side is that because of the impact, companies are really quickly to mm -hmm. think, how can I speed up digital transformation from years in the past, take three years. Right now they're asking, how can I get it done within 18 mm -hmm. months or 12 months? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the, how Adventa view on post-COVID-19 mm -hmm. post and what is the role and what is our offering in the industry I just shared previously. Okay, mm -hmm. so thank you Linda for your sharing so mm -hmm. that we can feel the COVID-19 actually push the digital transformation happen, right? Okay. Yes. So today we also uh, invite the two the local head one is from the uh, Euro, uh, Mr. Josh. He's our managing director of Advantech Euro. The second one is uh, Maktri, is from the Thailand. Uh, Advent he's our general manager of Advantech Thailand. So let's welcome the Josh and the Maktri. Okay, good. So Josh, 
How are you doing? Hey, Vincent. Good morning. Good afternoon to you. Yes. Uh, good so, to hear you and uh, thanks for your introduction. Yeah. So are you missing the Taiwan? I know you locked down in the, in the Euro in the past couple of months. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I miss the interaction face to face with my colleagues and also the cultural aspect of business travels. But anyhow, I think the situation is getting better now and mm -hmm. we will certainly have the opportunity to meet uh, hopefully this year. Okay, congratulations. So we know that it's quite difficult for the Euro in the past months during the COVID-19 periods. So when the people are struggling for the COVID-19, what the <coughs> advantage Euro, you made the progress to enhance the facility into the digital transformation? Yeah, you know, uh, nobody saw COVID-19 happening. We thought in the beginning it's uh, only China and it's far, so we did business as usual. Till the uh, uh, impact happened in Italy and then suddenly increased all over Europe. We saw that within a few weeks, the whole uh, operations, business, private was completely changed. Companies uh, started to work short time, uh, shops were closed, uh, cut, uh, people had to stay in home. And we as Advantech, our team, uh, we had to adjust to the country policies on one side, uh, take care of ourselves to stay safe. And fortunately, that was successful. And on the other hand, uh, try to keep the business running because our customers, uh, they kept on asking still for our support. So uh, this COVID-19 has affected all industries. And uh, we in Europe, uh, we are very focused on uh, automotive, manufacturing, logistics and retail. Uh, we saw that shops were closed, factories were closed with uh, short time work. But on the other hand, online shopping boosted a lot. There were even e-shops who were closed where you could not order anything because the order processing was overloaded. So you see that on one side, uh, industries are struggling. On the other side, creativity and agility helps to create new business models or boost uh, other businesses where digital transformation was already happening. So in Europe, uh, I can underline that uh, the need of smarter solutions, smarter living increased drastically in the mindset of people and industries. So we see that as a catalyst and accelerator. Um, an example is the automotive industry. Uh, we were talking a lot about moving to electrical cars from combustion and now we see that uh, countries are preparing to invest in the acceleration of e-car production. Because, um, for example, in France, the government, they launched a multi-billion investment plan to become the biggest electrical car producer in Europe. And that was launched a few weeks ago. It means that uh, countries and industries are preparing for a revamp re of, the, of, of the operations. Uh, different discussions started in Europe to rethink our exhaust of uh, carbon dioxide and reactivate the discussion of uh, commuting by train or plane or less driving and do more with the digital uh, technologies. So uh, that is also accelerating uh, the ability for people to rethink the way they were commuting. Um, Remote installation and management that happened in the past few weeks within our customer base because with restriction of traveling, uh, our team had to become uh, creative to remotely get the operation still into, in, into work. So device management applications, remote installations were very helpful with the technology that we already had launched a long time ago. So those are opportunities which are uh, creating because uh, even things have changed. Uh, the way that we live, the way we consume and commute, uh, it's not the end of, uh, of the world because people see that really as opportunity. It's a huge opportunity for innovation, especially for a company like Adventech, who has a great portfolio and technology stack in industrial IoT. 
One example I want to share, I have basically three examples, but one is for the uh, food processing industry. You know, uh, recently uh, food processing had to move on because people have mm -hmm. to eat uh, and drink and uh, many contaminations happened in the food processing industry because workers uh, were very close working together for processing the food. And it was, a, let's say, a very, uh, effect, it affected a lot that contamination happened and uh, personnel was not safe anymore. So we saw that uh, this situation uh, created a quick change of how people work in that uh, area. The discussion started to uh, create more mechanization with robots and AGVs in the food processing industries where uh, companies pop up to build proof of concepts. And that will help at the end uh, the reduction of costs. Of course, the space uh, will uh, will uh, reduce means uh, cost efficiency and also performance gain. So uh, the combination of COVID with digital transformation in the food processing industry is again an example of a good acceleration and a catalyst to speed up the need for it. Another example that we recently uh, installed is uh, fighting the COVID. You know, uh, trying to uh, predict if people are infected uh, by scanning, it's a good methodology to, uh, let's say, uh, create a safe environment, for example, for hospitals where uh, vulnerable people are. And together with our partners, uh, we installed in the past few months uh, very good examples of innovation, which helps to fight the COVID. Uh, in the UK, for example, we installed uh, together with our partners a solution to um, transmit CT scans uh, in real time with high reliability uh, to, let's say, the hospitals for uh, scanning people who are coming there. And you need to be sure that these people are not infected. So a mobile CT scanner unit uh, nearby the hospital helped to create a safe entry for, for people. And um, this system, you can see the picture. It's a very fancy, let's say, uh, block where people can come, they have their safety, their privacy, mm -hmm. and it's very flexible and agile because you can put it everywhere. And the good thing is this installation was built within 10 days only. It means the speed of creating such a solution uh, empowered by Advantech uh, routers with 4G communication connection helped to make this mobile device uh, placeable everywhere. Another example is about artificial intelligence. Um, we know that algorithms can predict uh, based on uh, some KPIs, um, the uh, projection uh, what might uh, what might be a, a cause in uh, COVID. And here with our partner, we built an integrated solution where they provided the uh, AI modeling and we provided our high performance computing because we know that algorithms need a high performance in real time to process the data and provide the scenarios which are needed to make decisions. So this solution uh, is scanning the uh, possible infection with COVID. And uh, on one side, you can see a healthy lung where there's no infection. On the other side, you can see the finding after scanning uh, based on the AI algorithm, your lungs, you can see a possible infection and then people can be, let's say, treated uh, effectively. And the scan is very quick, it's deployed uh, very easy uh, and uh, it's in real time. So the efficiency of scanning uh, on contamination with high performance computing and AI is happening in real time. It's not anymore talking and pilots. It's rollover uh, 40 hospitals across the UK based on the cloud applications where uh, doctors can see in real time uh, the, the result of the scan. Um, an example for my own business is how to 
connect with customers while you are not allowed to traveling. And uh, in the past few weeks, we had executive meetings with our channel partners to discuss about uh, the business situation in the countries. You know, Europe has more than 40 countries that we are covering. So traveling was part of our daily job. But now with this COVID, it also created a different mindset, not only with us, but also with our customers that they are uh, building a community among peers together with Advantech to discuss about their projection, their issues, the way that they fight it, this unexpected event like COVID and what they expect in the coming months from business in their countries. And that is creating, let's say, an optimistic atmosphere because everybody was down and uncertain what will happen. But this optimism, I think, is helping at Fantech and their partners also to cope and to proceed with the business. And last but not least, it creates a different way of doing business with customers. It is not always mandatory to be face to face. Online is also a perfect tool to stay connected. So I can say that the customer engagement and the mind share and the customer intimacy increased a lot based on the COVID experience. Vincent, this is my sharing. Okay, so Josh, you mean uh, you host the European the online partner conference, right? Exactly, and uh, you know, normally it would take me weeks to meet uh, these executives, but now we can do it in one hour. Everybody's there because you can plan very solid and strict this one hour meeting and it's very effective. And last but not least, it saves also uh, the cost of dinner and keeps you in shape. Okay, cool. So Linda, maybe we can consider about this idea for our partners on me. Right. Yeah. It's a very brilliant idea, yes. Okay, cool. So let's come back to the matrix. <laughs> so I miss the sunshine in the Thailand. How about you? Everything goes fine? Yeah, it is so fine that um, eventually I also trying to figure out how is the situation every day. Every day we have a changes in the policy and every day we have to adopt and of course taking care of our staff here. Okay, good. So I have a one question for you. So we also have some new projects in the ASEAN countries and to prevent the contentions and also assist the frontliners. So can you talk about a story about this? Well, when you talk about the COVID story, I think we have a tons of the list. Um, so, you know, uh, Southeast Asia is almost the first regions that having the COVID-19 outbreak. So uh, actually all the peoples I feel is a uh, chaos uncertainty. So the government, especially, um, you know, the most easiest one to apply is to announce the lockdown policy. So this is the most conservative and safe way. But we are not talking about that today. Okay, uh, it's already uh, two months from now. So let me share about more on the challenge. And also during the fighting with COVID and also some of the country which is in the different phases, is trying to reopening the economy activities. So like in Thailand, we are trying to have the consumer tourists come back to the shopping malls. You know, the tourism is a very important uh, GDP contributor to Thailand. Mm. So if there is no tourists, Thailand economy is really, really badly impacted. So what the government is trying to do is they try to impose certain and restrict regulation and allow all these uh, shopping mall, business center, welcomes their consumer back. Okay, start from this week actually. Okay. However, uh, I myself feel uh, quite an inconvenient process to entering these uh, shopping malls, shopping complex, because uh, we are required to scan a QR code, scan in and then scan out when we enter to the shopping mall. Besides, we also have to be entered to every shop we have to be doing the scan in and scan out again. So, by the way, I, I think I forgot to scan out from many of the shops. So the system probably is still thinking I am inside the shopping mall now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay. But uh, this is the fact, this is happening. Okay. So 2.2 million is already 
scan in during the first day they launched the system. But in the first day, there is also 800 people, 800,000 people is for part to scan out. So I don't know really how the system works. By the way, uh, there is another policy that to enforce that uh, we have to be screened the fevers to check out who are actually in a higher temperature, body temperature. So then only allow them to enter to the shopping mall and supermarket. To be frankly, uh, this is quite a bad experience that uh, you can see from the picture that it is actually a long queue. Even myself, I sometimes I have to wait, wait for half an hour or even more than that because they are using a manual screening, okay, using a thermometer to scan. And then, you know, this is a long queue and sometimes I also just lazy to going to visit them again. By the past few weeks, we actually having some good, okay, previous uh, customer that they are actually want to implement more smarter system, okay, for the infection prevention. So moving forward that uh, we actually uh, immediately to integrate some of the thermographic cameras and also the AI facial recognition system to comply the contactless fever screening policy from the government. So I shall be share more about this solution in the next couple of minutes. The other case I would like to share that in aiding the COVID-19 fight is happening in Malaysia right now. Malaysia is one of the worst COVID-19 spread country in Southeast Asia. Up to date, there are about 7,900 infection cases now. The Ministry of Health is preparing a low risk patient quarantine treatment center mm -hmm. uh, in an exhibition hall. So to be more precise, this is a call Malaysia Agro Exposition Park Sedang is transforming themselves to be a temporary hospital. So the temporary hospital is almost 12,000 square meters. It's about very, very big size. And you can imagine if you are the nurse there, you need to serve the patient there. How tired is it? You need to walk very, very far. Mm -hmm. So to serve the medicine and food and some treatment and check the record day by day. So easily you have to be walk about 10 to 15 kilometers very easily. So in order to help this situation, uh, Avantech actually specially react very fast, okay, to adopt to a new mobile smart robot with our partners. Our partners have the ideas, they have the capability and we're supporting them. And the company is called Dufu Automation. These all amazing things that from the design to delivery, it, in just one week's time. So I uh, think the agility, I'm happy that I'm not dragged like uh, what just has been shared just now. They are also acting very fast in 10 days. We are a little bit faster, but it's just a smaller system. And now this is almost one month that they operate uh, 24 by 7. So moving towards that, let's look into the real uh, implementation in the shopping mall first. So moving towards the shopping mall, you can see uh, using the AI-based fever screening, uh, it's actually with the thermal camera, as you can see from the architecture. So this uh, screenings actually can be uh, very easy and fast deployed. In our case, it take, just take about two hours to deploy in the uh, shopping mall. So we have consulted them uh, with the solution integrator and also to the shopping mall. And the result that you can see from the picture that actually they are coming, walking in smoothly without any block or without any uh, obstacle. Okay, so it's just like normal uh, in the past uh, few months that when we enter to the shopping mall. And the good thing is the mall also can have all the records that the visitor passed through. So of course, that if there is a fever or high temperature, people, they will alert. Okay, but if there is not, we are actually automatically assigning a visitor ID to all these people visiting in. So with the AI facial recognition, actually we can uniquely to identify uh, I, autonomous or anonymous, anonymous visitor ID to that people, so we were not having a double count. Okay, so this is a one good system that uh, the shopping mall can have all this uh, dashboard and also the data in hand. Even uh, this is not required by the government now. However, this is I think is a mindset of a digital transformation. So we also 
having uh, able to do a further tracking with the other camera in the shopping mall that to know where is the path and route this visitor has been walked through. And in case they have been infected by COVID-19, it also can be helped to backtrace okay, the way or the shop that he had been visited. So we are actually acting much better than the government expectation with the digitalization and our AI age. So uh, the next cases we talk about the Malaysia shopping, uh, the Malaysia uh, temporary hospital. Many of the nurses now are actually slimmer, okay, um, because they walk so much. However, they are still be thankful. You can see their thumbs up there, okay. Thankful to us that uh, yeah, we are actually helping them to reduce three times of the walking distance. So with the full respect and sympathy, I feel so happy that Avantech can help. And almost 10 autonomous robots there now delivering the food and delivering the medicine without any delay. It's a very precise on times. And even the better thing is uh, this robot can be play some music, okay, some leisure music. And sometimes they play a very cute voice like a comic. Okay, they cheer up and motivate the patient and the workers there in the temporary hospital. So this robot is actually quite smart. It can be scheduled and routing through the mobile phone and computer, and it's actually equipped with many sensors, as you can see from the architecture down there. So, uh, as I very happy that we can help for the nursing and also the medical servant in the Malaysia country. So uh, I'm very happy and share with you all today. Vincent, how about your feelings? Okay, good. So thank you, the Matrix. Thank you, the Josh, your old sharings. You know, you're talking about lots of uh, application regarding like the uh, AGV and also a uh, like the uh, the trend of the digital transformations. And you know, you create a different landscape for us. Before we thought that Advantage, we are the IoT companies. We are very focused on the industrial market. But after your sharing, you feel we can feel that we are not just only talking about hard technology, but also we touch and even protect people's life. Okay, so for the story we share today, and also we have more interesting reference case we did to fighting for the COVID-19 with the IoT and the smart solutions. So we all collect in one special edition of the My Advantech magazines. So you can scan the QR code here and download from our website. And you also can understand more about Advantage perspective uh, for the market with the COVID-19 effect. Okay. So what is the next? What should we do now? After five months, the difficult moment, now we all come back to work. So I would like to share the one uh, marketing research from the INF. So this is the marketing survey uh, talking about the economic situation in the past 20 years. And we find the pattern about the business and the economy. They always will rebound after crisis. And as you can see that we, you may have some memory that we have the, some difficult situation in 2009 and the business economy have a significant drop because of uh, economic crisis. But however, in the second years, business come back and the uh, economic rebound even more in the 2010. So in this year, we can understand that business economy situation is now very strong. We might have dropped in this year. But however, uh, based on the history, we believe that the business will come back and we understand that economy will rebound in the next year. So what should we do? We should be ready to catch the rebound and the new business opportunity, especially the trend from the digital transformation in the post-COVID-19 area. Ah, sorry, I forgot the Linda is still here. So the, the Josh and the Matrix. So be careful about the quota setting in the end of this year, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now let's come back to the section of the live Q&A and we have some, I believe that you may have some questions we'd like to ask and uh, listen the opinion from our guests today. So we also prepare the two pieces of the 3M 
the desktop, the air purifiers for live Q&A participants. So you are free to leave your questions in the chat box. Okay. Okay, so I see some of the question is coming. Okay, so the first question. I think this is a very good point. Mm -hmm. And also I want to use the, the chart and the prediction from IMF. Mm -hmm. If you from that chart, you see that there's a strong rebound in mm -hmm. 2021. And also believe that will be the way it goes. You know, this is not just the crisis that we have in 2009. This is really, I would say, the unusual crisis for all, all mm -hmm. around the globe and also for all the industry. So even though it comes very fast, but it also may come very quickly. So you see that in the coming month, everyone come back to work. Mm -hmm. But everyone need to be prepared that how to deal with for the future if something is still unpredictable. So I believe that lots of investment will be made in all the industry, not just the one I'm talking about for the manufacturing infrastructure, also in the medical, in the retail that the Taylor Healthcare, that Adventa also doing that, currently from Taiwan, we're going to explore to worldwide, also retail. But most importantly, more importantly is that for all the company, everyone is that thinking about how should I make a digital, digitalized company? How should I make the company is more digitalized? Which means that in terms of the IT, in terms of all the engineering. So I think a lot of investment will be made for the second half till the next year. So next year, I think there'll be a rebound for mm -hmm. the economy because many new ideas, new applications, and digital transformation will adopt in a few months. Okay, yeah. I see. So that means we really need to be very careful about the quota setting in the end of this year. Right? Yes, still six <laughs> months away. So everyone still can be prepared in the team. Yes. Okay, I see. Okay. So the next question. Okay, it's talking about okay, talking about shopping mall. I think this uh, uh, will be good for the metrics. So due to the COVID, the huge impact to the tourism. So why the shopping mall still want to implement infection detection system? And meantime, the everyone is trying to close down now. All right. Actually, I thought we are having an exchange and sharing here, but you always keep talking about the quota <laughs> that make me panic. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it's the same thing uh, as you can see from the previous uh, presentation. Um, to be frank, only the luxury shopping malls uh, who are concerning on the shopping experience of their consumer and tourists to come into their malls. Uh, they are actually driving towards the AI-based uh, infection prevention system. Uh, for the normal supermarket convenience store, it's not really wanted to implement that yet. However, the more concern that I see is that the digitalization, some organization that are keen to implement that digitalized system, and they already have the deployment roadmap and plan in talking and discussion, okay, for probably want to implement in the next few years. But due to the COVID, they want to speed it very, very fast. Like Linda mentioned from 24 months now down to six to 12 months. So this is the reason why this uh, shopping mall and this open, not only shopping mall actually, it's also some of the factory manufacturing is the same. They already have the digitalization roadmap and they implement certain process in their organization. But not only that they speed up this process, align with the social distancing, the fever screenings, and the process that they want to reduce the labor and also the human interaction during this time. That is the reason that they are still investing. Okay. For yeah. Okay, thank you, Mitri. Okay, so the next question. Okay, so I think it's from the judge, your fans. So how the European customers they react on the COVID lockdown and can you share more related case? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> uh, in uh, February, everybody was uh, pushing business as usual, start of the day, a uh, month, a year, planning the events and activities ahead. 
But suddenly uh, we realized that we had to stay home to protect ourselves, our families, and not able to travel to protect others. And uh, the business landscape changed drastically on one side. On the other side, projects were still pending. Customers still wanted to have their goods uh, because of implementation still happening in the field. So uh, we, we try to uh, create, let's say, a quick change of the way that we were uh, driving the business from home. And I must say that uh, the company was well prepared with their IT infrastructure that our people were able to work from home within one, two days. Um, the infection uh, created for us also a different look of customer engagement and also their way of expectation to us, uh, suddenly uh, the mindset changed uh, to how Adventa can support them from a distance, completely different than traveling or installing on site. Uh, we started to collaborate more as a team to get, let's say, the, the output done. So uh, for the European uh, countries uh, where uh, the differences uh, what we tried to implement in the past with a local footprint, suddenly we saw that the centralized approach for specific uh, uh, support structures was also possible and accepted by customer. And at the end, this COVID is a chance because we know that after a crisis, changes happen. And that is how it is perceived in the European market by our customers mm -hmm. and by ourselves. Okay. Okay, so Josh, thank you for your answer. Okay, so let's see the next question. Okay, so I think it's for the Linda. So what is the advantage strategy for this change? And uh, also, is there any practical case for us to share to us? Okay, as Vincent, you know, um, no one expects this will come, you know, pandemic. So the strategy for the change actually uh, I would say that there has been a advantage strategy in the past years, especially like we changed our mission to enable intelligent planning, especially in the past five to four years, we have been invest a lot mm. of on the software yes. investment. Mm. So mm -hmm. this is strategy that we want to enable digital transformation mm -hmm. for smart city and yes. smart manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And now there's a COVID-19, so our strategy mm -hmm. keep the same. Mm -hmm. but. What we will do now is more that helping and working together mm -hmm. hand in hand with, with mm -hmm. our partner mm -hmm. that to help we can ask you the deployment quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And regarding that, what will be the, the, the mm -hmm. practical case we have mm -hmm. like recently or in the coming coming few months? Um, you know, uh, in Taiwan it's not really one hundred percent lockdown. So everyone can still go to work and mm -hmm. go to school. But for the prevention, mm -hmm. some of the company in Taiwan production, they may have the different ship. Like someone go to that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, and yes. some go to Tuesday mm -hmm. and Thursday. So mm -hmm. the production capacity is not 100%. Mm -hmm. So how to do that, that to make sure that we can, they can still keep 100% mm -hmm. of production output. So we do work with uh, one of the cases on the share is that the customer is on manufacturing for the metal part uh, with a lot of equipment mm -hmm. and device connected together. In the past, they need people to there to do the work, also check on all the mm -hmm. ESA and device to make sure nothing go wrong. Because mm -hmm. nothing go wrong, they, if anything go wrong, they might lose a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So they work with the Venta to implement the one I just shared that we call device call. Mm -hmm. So wise pass and plus is a device call platform. So mm -hmm. with last people working in the field and to check on all the device and equipment. With the software utility on call management we have, and we mm. are able to connect different type and the function of device in their production line, and then to do intelligent monitoring and control. And also that to make sure that a sort of like to prevent if any failure, that's what failure. we call pretty maintenance. Pretty and so, by using a different type solution with mm -hmm. the hardware platform we have mm -hmm. and the software solution cloud platform for the device call, mm -hmm. and our customer is able to maintain mm -hmm. still 100% production output, mm -hmm. but with less people in the field. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I see. Mm. 
Okay, so Linda, thank you for your answer. So due to the time limitation, so I would like to leave the last question to Matrix. Okay, so what is the technologies you think that essentials in the Asian region in the following 12 months after COVID situation? All right, um, Vincent, um, many technology we are talking about is related to automation, cell services, and also the contactless, as uh, Linda has mentioned before. But uh, let me pick one of the major one, I think will be the AI's aided automation. Basically, uh, people are require a more reliable system when, especially during this uh, COVID pandemic time, we are unable to go to serve human by humans, person by person. So only deploying a self-service system it might be able to create some trouble, but with the AI that is able to learn a different people behavior, a different market behavior, it will really help in self, okay, exist the system itself for improve the efficiency in serving people during the pandemic. So eventually uh, I will see that those people or those company already have the digitalization roadmap and the plan, they are speeding up this. And this is all driven by a data-centric mindset, like uh, Josh mentioned before. So uh, back to the key point is uh, we need more automated system in the field, no matter it's in the factory, no matter it is in the shopping mall. So this automation system is not only react stupidly one by one, it will be assisted by the AI okay and learn by itself that's uh, all my thinking and opinion thank you okay so thank you matri thank you for your answers so um, i think that because uh, time of the limitations uh, so this is the ending for our the live seminars so but however for all of you please feel free to leave your question in the, the check box and we will have the lucky draw later on okay and uh, with the sharing today and we understand about uh, the situation after the COVID-19 and we also foresee the trend of the digital transformation you are coming very soon even stronger than before okay so uh, thank you for your time and thank you for you join our live seminar and uh, see you next time okay thank you bye 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 bye, -bye.